All right, so today I'm heading to Cairns. I'm gonna meet up with Catherine tonight to do light painting. Uh, she's running a tutorial workshop. It should be awesome. Uh, a few other things to do around town and yeah. <laughs> Here comes the maestro. <laughs> We have to say to your adoring fans. Oh, hello everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding my uh, first light painting workshop this evening with um, Di, who's behind me here, and uh, Jamie. Um, Jamie's just giving Di a little bit of help there with um, getting her camera um, and her phone connected so we can do some long exposure shots tonight um, and get some amazing um, light painting shots. Um, later on this evening, we'll be joined by Shane, um, a wildlife photographer, and Kevin and um, who are um, underwater photographers. So looking forward to a fantastic evening. Thanks for joining us. It's got on, it has a bright and not so bright setting, and then it has a strobe setting. So that's a consistent um, flashing. And the next one has a, it has two fast and a slow flash. Uh, it must have three light settings, a bright, a not so bright, and a dull. So all those settings make different images. So to the torch, I attach an adapter. The rubber device, it just sits on there. And whatever I'm using for my light painting, I plug into the other end. So tonight we will be using a light sword. Um, we'll see how that looks tonight. Uh, we have light flutes, which have holes on the outside. When we use the flute, the flute, uh, the holes must be facing the camera, so we can see the light coming out of the hole. With the tubes, um, the tube obviously gives the colour in the image. Um, to colour the light flute, I've got um, cellophane in the bag, so we can make different coloured um, lines. When we uh, take our Light painting. Uh, 
um, are these cups. And we use these to make orbs. So what we do is we work out the best distance for us. And what I do is I tie a knot so I know where to hold them. to hold it. The trick with this is to keep your hand in the same position and as you're swinging it, swing it over the same spot consistently. So um, I was using a battery the other day but all you do is you swing and you make a circle. Oh you walk around in a circle Yeah, too, you walk around it. in a circle. And um, through the long exposure, that will make an orb. <laughs> now, my first orb looks like a pumpkin. And they haven't gotten much better. <laughs> uh, we've got lots of colours to choose from tonight. Purple, green, yellow, white, blue, and there's a rainbow one. Starting at the greenness now. Okay. <laughs>